Hello, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson, and it's a pleasure to have Dr. Tammy Lawrence Buck, co-founder, and Janet Williams, president of the board of the Low Country Autism Foundation, to speak about autism and the importance of the upcoming sixth annual Spring Fling fundraiser. Say that fast three <laughs> times. <laughs> How are you today? Good morning, great. Good. So let's talk a little bit about autism. I think a lot of people aren't really, you know, there's so many terms anymore that are just that fly out there especially with children let's talk a little bit about autism well um, what we know about autism we probably know less than um, we need to know right now but autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects uh, children and adults and it can significantly impair their development as um, through their lifespan and it does affect adults as well. I think we think of it more along the lines of a children's disorder. Uh, it absolutely does affect adults. Okay. In fact, it's something that we think you cannot actually outgrow, but wow. you can definitely improve someone's long-term outcome. Okay, that's interesting. So uh, early screening is obviously very important. And so um, how, how do they screen or you know, what, would, what would allow, I guess, why would somebody want to go get screened? Um, well, um, we know that early identification can significantly um, change a child's developmental outcome long term. And so that's what, one of the things that we do know. And what signs would you know, m allow somebody to come to you and say, I think that maybe my child or my teenager has autism? Sure, and it's the parents usually who are the first ones to notice mm -hmm. this. If um, there are some red flags, which you can go to our website also to find, um, if the child is not um, making normal communication attempts um, by the age of two years old, eye contact, um, uh, things like that that we know, and some motor challenges too, some physical um, challenges can also be red flags for autism. And so if you see some of those, you definitely want to approach your pediatrician. And have them checked. Yes. So the actual um, event, let's talk about that. Spring Fling. It's a sixth annual. Sixth annual Spring Fling will take place at the Country Club of Hilton Head on a wonderful venue. Beautiful venue. They're excited. We're excited. Saturday, April 27th from 6 to 10 o'clock. We'll have dinner, dancing, mm -hmm. silent auction, a live auction. There's rumors that a celebrity or two may be in the room. We don't know. <laughs> Some amazing auction items. A guitar uh, autographed by the Rolling Stones. We have a motorcycle for those who like motorcycles that's been built specifically for this event, um, in addition to the wonderful generosity of our community, you know, golf, rounds of golf, right. dinner, gift certificates, right. those kind of wow, things. Wow, you're mm -hmm. going to have some amazing auction items. How fun. So the event itself, if people are interested, do they actually, um, do they just go to the website? Is there, do they call, mm -hmm. can they call? They can call, they can go to the website. They and, can, I think, and we do have all that on all the screen. All that information, mm -hmm. okay. And they can go pick tickets up at 60 Main Street, Suite H. We okay. have an office there too. Okay, great. So how do people actually, besides, you know, coming to the event, are there other ways to support autism? And you actually mentioned this is the month, uh, right? Autism Awareness Month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, we serve the low country and it's, you know, you were asking about autism. There's a lot of debate on what causes it. Mm -hmm. um, what's known in the medical community absolutely agrees upon is early diagnosis helps a child have the opportunity to grow, to become a functioning member of society, develop those communication skills. The Low Country Autism Foundation is unique in that they don't charge the families that we serve for those services. Wow. We are 100% dependent on the generosity of our community. Mm -hmm. We have an amazing network of professionals that assist with the screenings, assist with the treatment either at no cost or at a greatly reduced rate. So we consider... And that's so important, especially now. Mm -hmm. You know, with so many people going through times when there's limited insurance or maybe no insurance. Right. Mm -hmm. And with the rates of autism prevalence it's seemingly increasing, uh, they've, they just, the prevalence rate just keeps rising. Right. I think the statistic now is that one in 88 children in the United one States is mm -hmm. thought to be wow, born with autism, more prevalent amongst boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a, that's a pretty high number. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so the actual fling will support the Autism Foundation, which is wonderful, mm -hmm. and it sounds like it's going to be a lovely evening, so I'm going to just let you one more time go through the um, date and time of the event. Okay, April 27th, which is a Saturday. It'll be from 6 to 10 o'clock at the Country Club 
of Hilton Head, and we think we have a really fun evening planned. There'll be live music, silent auction, live auction, some interesting guests for sure, and a lot of uh, wonderful auction items. Yeah, it sounds like a fun night. And thank you so much for sharing it with us today. Thank you for thank having you, us. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.